Hello and welcome to this video in which we're going to take a look at the profit margins of a board game such as Terraforming Mars and they sell this for $80 which is quite a high price for a board game uh, obviously it has a lot of parts so it's worth it also has great reviews so people seem to think that $80 is a fair price for this and I took a look at what Amazon charges them for shipping this item from their warehouse to the customer and it's about $21. So from the $80, $21 goes straight to Amazon already. So that's already a big gap out of this budget. Let's say we have a about $59 left. Obviously you have to manufacture this item and I would say it will cost about $8 per unit. It depends obviously on the volume. I don't know how many units they produce, uh, but let's say around $8 given that they have a lot of cards and other items and the box is quite big as well. So that leaves us with about $50 and then we have to ship this item. I have to take a look where they manufacture it. I assume and the, uh, I don't see it immediately, but let's assume that they manufacture it in China, which will incur some transportation cost as well so let's say it's another five dollar transportation cost we also have to take into account some ad spends on amazon and off amazon and there will also be returns people that don't like the game or that receive it damaged um, so all of these uh, costs have to be subtracted already and then we also have to take yeah, the cost of designing the game itself into account. So I would say on this $80 board game, there's about $30 of profit. Uh, but keep in mind, they also have to invest about yeah, 10 to $12 in inventory. So for the $12 that they invest, they get $30 out, which is a very good um, margin actually um, they have yeah spent a lot of time developing this game so I think it's fair that they receive this type of margin uh, given that they also took an inventory risk at first um, the game might not have sold at all and, and they could have made a loss um, and same is true about uh, the expansion so yeah it's I think a beautiful game and I'm happy to see that the publishers make some profit on it. Uh, it's still a capital intensive business because as you scale up, you always have to have yeah, money at hand for the board game itself. Uh, obviously there are some ways to negotiate with the manufacturer, but um, yeah, you have to be prepared to have some cash on hand. And this can also uh, affect your profits because if you have to work with investors or take out loans, and uh, these have to pay it off as well. So uh, the profit margin might be even a little lower than um, the projected $30 per unit. And yeah, if you have to invest $15 to get 30 out, um, yeah, it's a nice deal, but at the same time, it's also quite uh, capital intensive. So um, yeah, especially given that board games is a hits driven business where 20% of the games make about 8% of the profits and the rest don't make any profit at all. Um, so I think it's fair the amount of profit they're making uh, given that such a beautiful uh, board game. And we also don't know how long it will remain popular. Um, Monopoly has been around for several decades, whereas other board games uh, fizzle out rather quickly. Uh, I hope this one stays around as well because as I said, it's beautifully made, the artwork, everything um, is yeah, very nicely done. A hat tip to the designers. It's um, a work of art. I'm very impressed by it. So, And yeah, as I said, I estimate that they make around $30 profit per unit, uh, which seems fair given uh, that there are a lot of expenses and risk when you develop a board game and you also take on the inventory risk as well. 
So just a quick insight in the margins of a popular board game. I wish you a wonderful day ahead. And um, maybe just quickly, uh, they mentioned 400 units are sold. So this gives us about $12,000 profit per month. Um, once again, you have to take inventory into account so you don't immediately take the 12000 out of the business because you have to reinvest uh, to build up the business and the inventory. So it can take quite a while before you actually can take money out of it. And uh, developing new board games and marketing, um, yeah, maybe they have their own warehouse. So there's a lot of costs um, to get there. And it's like a steam engine where you have to like shovel more and more coal into it to get it moving but eventually when it starts driving it's quite profitable but it takes a lot of time and energy uh, to get there but eventually it's a, a wonderful business and if the yeah game stays around for a long time it can be definitely worth it so just a quick video about this subject and i wish you a wonderful day ahead and thank you